Hugo Rivera here from HugoRivera.net and today I want to talk about a very popular supplement in the market. Uh, it's a supplement that has been now around for around 15 years and it revolutionized sports nutrition when it came out and the supplement is creatine. First of all, what is creatine? Creatine is simply a metabolite that is produced by the body and is composed of three amino acids which is arginine, methionine and glycine. Uh, what creatine does is that it helps to extend your ATP cycle when you're training and let me explain a little bit about what that means. Um, basically when, when you start your muscle contractions, okay, you're doing some bicep curls let's say, uh, when you contract you use a molecule called ATP which is basically your carbohydrates uh, when they get digested and everything else, the, the lowest molecule that uh, comes out of the carbohydrate digestion is called ATP and ATP is the fuel, the actual fuel that your body uses to go ahead and uh, fuel muscular contraction. Uh, what happens is that as you start doing your repetitions, ATP gets depleted and then you jump into what is called the lactic acid system. So basically you start using some, some glycogen and then you start uh, producing some lactic acid and what happens is that you know you go ahead and reach muscle failure because you know you just produce too much lactic acid and you cannot go on. However, with creatine you can go ahead and extend the amount of time that you can go ahead and burn some ATP which in turn is going to allow you to do more repetitions. And that's a good thing because more repetitions at any given weight is going to create a bigger stimuli on the muscle, which in turn is going to result in uh, more muscle growth. And that's what we're looking for. In addition, creatine uh, also works by increasing the amount of water inside the muscle cell. That's called intracellular water retention. And that's the sort of water retention we want because Muscles are like balloons, okay? And they contain protein, they contain actually some fats, believe it or not, inside the muscle cell, not outside. And, uh, but it's mostly composed of water. So if you increase the water inside of the muscle, not outside, okay? Because outside water uh, retention gives, is what gives you the puffy look and that's not exactly what we're looking for. But if you increase it inside of the muscle cell, then you get a bigger, harder, more, more striated looking muscle. And that's what we're looking for. And that's another way in which uh, creatine works. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more videos like this, uh, please visit my website at www.hugorivera.net, where you can also go ahead and sign up to my free newsletter that I send out every week with free tips on training, nutrition, and supplementation. And in addition, I give you two ebooks as a free gift to you. And these ebooks basically talk about how to get in shape, uh, build some muscle, and uh, get some abs, which is what all of us are looking to go ahead and do. Anyways, I hope to see you soon. Take care and train hard. Yeah.